What is a seller's concession? And how exactly do they work? Whether you're buying or selling a home, a seller's concession could be the winning difference in bringing both buyers and sellers together. By the end of this short video, you'll learn just how powerful seller's concessions can be, especially since we're in some pretty fierce competition in this hot seller's market. So get ready, let's go. For those who haven't met me yet, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty, right here in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to help you make smart decisions when buying and selling a house. And if you're new to my channel, please take a second hit the subscribe button and also the red bell too. That'll let you know when my next video is published so you never miss a thing. So technically, what is a seller's concession? Simply put, it's the amount of money that the seller agrees to pay towards the buyer's closing cost. For details about closing costs, check out either one of these videos. You'll find the link below in the description. Now, if you're a homeowner, you're probably thinking, well, why would I want to pay someone else's closing costs when I have my own closing costs to pay? Let's take a look at an example of how a seller's concession can benefit both buyer and seller. As a buyer, say you found a house that you absolutely fell in love with and it's listed for $300,000 and you really need $10,000 to help towards your closing cost. In today's market, there's a good chance that you'll be competing against multiple offers and even some cash offers. Before you make an offer, your agent should have a good idea of what that home is worth. Using this example, your agent might think that home is worth between $310,000 and $315,000 based on sold comps in the area. You could offer the seller his full asking price and ask a seller's concession of $10,000 to go towards your closing cost. But structuring your offer like that, the seller is going to net $290,000, which most likely will not be appealing. And if the seller is looking at multiple offers, they may be quick to put your offer in the no-go stack. Using this same example, the best way to turn this around is to make your purchase price $310,000 or better, and then ask for a seller's concession of $10,000 to go towards your closing cost. The seller would then net their full asking price of $300,000 or more. Plus, the buyer gets their closing cost paid. It's a win-win. The only caveat is that the home must appraise for at least the amount of the contractual purchase price, $310,000 in this example. Some buyers might be apprehensive about making an offer over list price, thinking that their payment is going to significantly increase. Let me put that fear to rest. To quickly calculate an estimate of how much your payments would increase should you adjust that purchase price, use this simple formula. It's $4 per thousand. Again, using this example, if you're offering $10,000 above list, it's 10,000 times $4 equal $40. Now ask yourself, is that extra $40 on my monthly payment worth having my closing cost paid and having a much better chance of being the winning bid in the multi-offer situation on the house that I love? You might be wondering if this is a common practice. The answer is yes. In fact, I looked at the last 30 homes that have sold in the past 60 days, ranging in price from $110,000 to $360,000. 18 of those homes that sold had seller's concessions. And of those, seven of them sold for over list price. As a buyer, it's also important to know the limitations of the amount of the seller concession you can ask the seller for. That is, if you're financing your new home. This depends on what type of financing you're doing. Your loan officer will be able to give you the very best advice based on your specific situation. Asking for 3% of the purchase price as a seller's concession to go towards the buyer's closing cost is very common in our marketplace. Asking for 3% for a seller's concession also falls within the limitations of all types of financing. I'm curious, as you're watching this video, are you a buyer or a seller? Let me know by dropping me a comment below. 
So the next time you ask someone what they sold their home for, and they say something like $300,000 with a $10,000 seller concession, what they're really saying is they sold their house for $290,000 because that's what they walked away with. Keep that in mind when you're chatting up the neighbor about how much their house sold for. The key to making this work for both sides is a meeting of the minds. Before your realtor writes that offer, they should be asking the seller's agent some really great questions to learn as much as they can about what is truly important to the seller. It's not always about the money, guys. For example, have your realtor find out how many offers are currently on the table. And also, have them find out if there's a special reason why the seller needs to sell. Maybe a flexible move-out date might be appealing to the sellers as to not be pressured while they're building their new house, which has already been delayed two times due to unforeseen weather. Or maybe you could be flexible with repairs. Don't underestimate this one, guys. It might be worth big bucks to a seller not to have to deal with some needed repairs. Oh, and if you're an agent watching this, the last question you want to ask a seller or seller's agent, would you accept an offer with seller concessions? That's almost a guarantee that your offer is going to be thrown in the bottom of the pile. If you're not 100% sure I how to phrase this in a positive light, just give me a call. My numbers, although we live in a technology driven world, I still believe that buying and selling residential real estate is still a very personal transaction. Selling can be emotional too. Remember, knowledge is power. It's easy to get caught up in the strive of what we want. If you know what the why and what the other side wants, half the battle's already won. So make sure you have a seasoned realtor who understands how to bring out the best in both sides based on true needs for a win-win. I'm Lisa Kelly with Premier Realty. I hope you share this video with someone you think might find it helpful. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Curious, as you're watching this video, are you a buyer or a seller? Let me know by comment. Baron, I am on, I'm filming, honey. Give me a break.